Okay, so here's another proof of the uh, general power rule. So if we have y equals x to the r, where r is any real number at all, positive, negative, uh, zero, any kind of fraction, any kind of irrational number, um, we want to see what's the derivative of that going to be. Um, I, I feel like I may have gone through this briefly in another video, um, but I do remember for sure that I said I would cover this uh, once we talked about logarithmic differentiation, and now we have, so we can do this, um, and it's good to see it again. So uh, let's go ahead and go through that. Um, now this proof is going to use logarithmic differentiation, and you might be thinking, well, in the last few videos, you know, we used it for stuff like x to the sine of x and sine of x to the x, and so on and so forth. Um, logarithmic differentiation really is meant for stuff like functions of x raised to other functions of x, but you could still use it for stuff like x squared um, or 2 to the x, things like that. You know, it'll still work, it's just kind of overkill, and it's a lot of extra work that you don't really need to do. Um, but it is something that you need to do for functions of x raised to other functions of x. But it, it's also useful for this general proof here. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so first step is take a natural log of both sides. Natural log of y equals natural log of x to the r. Okay. Um, then the second step is use that pre-calculus rule, uh, that pre-calculus power rule for logs, um, where you can write this exponent as a factor. So natural log of y equals r times natural log of x. Okay, and now we just take a derivative of both sides with respect to x. So if we take a derivative, wrong pen, uh, d d x of natural log of y equals d d x of r times natural log of x. Okay, so now um, d d x of natural log of y. So we're just going to think a chain rule here. Okay, um, derivative of natural log of a thing is one over that thing times the derivative of that thing. Okay. Uh, now on the right, what do we have? R is just a constant, so we can actually just pull it out. <clears throat> okay, so R is just a constant, so we can pull it out, and that's nice, because that makes this a little bit simpler. Um, so what we have now is 1 over y times y primed equals R times 1 over x. Okay. Uh, derivative of natural log of x is just 1 over x. So now we want to get y prime by itself, so we multiply both sides by y. So y prime equals r times 1 over x times y. Okay. Um, but again, we're not done yet, so uh, we want our answer just in terms of x. So we go back to the beginning, and we say, oh, okay, y is x to the r. So here, we can replace y with x to the r. So let's go over here, um, come up here, and we'll say, okay, y equals or sorry, y primed, rather, uh, y primed equals r times 1 over x, 1 over x, times y, but remember y is x to the r, so times x to the r. Okay, now what we have is um, y primed equals r times x to the r divided by x to the first, right? So that means uh, y primed equals r times x to the r minus 1. Because if you um, divide uh, powers like this, and if they have the same base, then that just becomes uh, exponent on the top minus exponent on the bottom with that same base. So, um, and that's our desired result, right? Y prime equals R times X to the R minus 1. So remember, um, this works for any real number R. Okay, it could be positive, negative, zero, any kind of fraction, any kind of goofy, irrational number, um, pi, E, et cetera, et cetera, anything like that. And uh, that's that.